of the first prerequisites once you achieve your braking period is uh, steering wheel straight ahead position, mm -hmm. seat belt buckled, doors, hood, trunk, all that needs to be closed. Um, Temperature is really important. So if you have any of the values in blue, mm -hmm. you know, you're in Park City, it's going to take it a while for the transmission yep. to heat up. So wait till you have your values in white, and that's a good indicator to know, hey, I'm at operating temperature. Okay. Have my left foot on the brake with constant pressure. Mm -hmm. And here I'm going to toggle the switch down to race here. Okay. And so now what we need to do is come to the steering wheel. I'm going to say, okay, yeah, I know I'm in sport handling mode. I'm going to pull back on both paddle shifts. You see what it says? Good. Race start. Mm -hmm. We need to confirm back, uh, excuse me, uh, with the right paddle shift. Mm -hmm. Now, I need to accelerate 100% all the way to kick down switch. Okay. Left foot still on the brake. And when I go wide open, you will see the RPMs will come up. When the needle stops moving, right, then we can release the brake. Okay. okay? Are you ready? I'm ready. So we go here. So it's slick tires here. You can see it's still spinning. Yeah. So now the tires have accumulated some yuck, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the emotion of a launch control start, like yeah. what you know from F1 type racing. Gotcha, gotcha. Right? But uh, in one mode you did that in a in a that in was in a, race in mode. In race mode, yeah. and that's uh. That's you got you got to use the shifter, right? No, no, it shifts automatically. It's okay. in Sport Plus. So right now, let's say I'm back at the at the light, and uh, somebody <laughs> you want next to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're still in race. Yeah. Remember, you're in ESP Sport Handling mode, so the car's going to be little. allowed to spin a little bit. Yeah. So now, let's say I'm at the light. I pull back on both paddle shifts. I confirm. Wide open throttle. Release the brake. Awesome. See, it's really pretty, good. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh huh. So, yeah. So, questions? So you gotta keep you gotta keep your your pedal left, in the brake. Yes, left and then, on the brake. And just remember, keep pressure constant. If we see the pressure doing this, you know, erratic pressure is like, yeah, wait yeah. a minute. You so you go full pressure. throttle when you release the brake. Full rake. throttle all together. Yeah. You have my left foot's on the brake yeah. holding. Yeah. My right foot's wide open throttle, okay. holding, okay. and then when I want the car to take off, I'm releasing the brake. Gotcha. You can see the marks here in the road where it yep. changed first, second, it's yep. trying to get yep. power yep. down. So, And you can do this as much as you like. If the gear, It has self-protection, so if the transmission or the gearbox gets too warm, it may say race start unavailable. Oh, okay, gotcha. And it's looking out for the long term of the gearbox. So then you would drive the car and then it would simply, you know, cool the gearbox down via the transmission cooler. Pretty awesome. So uh, again, now you're already set up. Race mode. Mm -hmm. Pull back, left foot on the brake, constant pressure. Yep. Pull back on both paddle shifts. Confirm with the right. Yep. See, it's still trying to get power to it, right? Wow. Now it was only 55, 56 miles an hour. Yep. But you need the runway to let the car run through the gear sets gotcha, gotcha. because it's trying to get power, so it's pulling things back yeah, to yeah, get it yeah. to the ground. But, but a little bit. So now, if you're just uh, like right now, without race start, if you just there and you mad it, you'll see a different experience. Okay. So now we go here. I just take off. See different. See the hop in it. See it's already. It spins a little yeah, more. Yes. But it's. It, to me, it doesn't have the same emotion. When yeah, you, you did it. The engine so up. you did it just with uh, pushing the accelerator. Yeah, just you, with pushing the accelerator. Just rela releasing the uh, brake and uh, pushing the accelerator. Just uh, yeah, like you know, like just a starting point. Yeah, but uh, you know, the main the main thing if you're going to do this is uh, road surface means a lot. Mm -hmm. um, if the surface is clean, you know, different tops. Um, just make sure you're in the right controlled environment. Yeah. But it, anytime though, if you're going to take your car to the racetrack or the salt flats, um, I would say obviously you need to have your car checked out. One, you make sure the tires is obviously good, tire pressure, and you know, depending on what kind of day you're doing. For example, if you were having a track day like what you experienced today mm -hmm. and you were doing a lot of lapping, after the event, I would ask you know, you wanted to take it back to the dealer, let them service it. You know, check the tires, the brakes, and um, 
and so on. Cool, cool. That's always good absolutely, to do. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? And then when you drive, you can have the, the friction circle. Uh -huh. The friction circle is uh, goes you the lateral movement. Yep. Right? Yep. So it's just kind of hard to hard to show like on the wet skid pad today yeah you could see all the lateral movement while you were driving down on the big track and you were making the andretti hairpin you would have seen lots of lateral movement when you accelerate you'll see the friction ball come back and when you brake you'll see that where the load transfer yeah. is on the car gotcha. it's really good got gotcha, you got gotcha. you really good so so this one is really special and then we have this one as far as engine data and here we show you basically you have your torque right you have your horsepower your temperature for your oil and temperature for your gearbox oil temperature for the engine oil temperature for the gearbox and it's just crazy good wow, wow. it's good detail too look at yeah, the yeah. sensitivity on it oh so yeah so that, that's after, how you did, right yeah <laughs> after today you know was this your first amg yes so uh First time at the AMG Driving Academy. Yes, yes. What's your thoughts? I'm um, unbelievable. It's just, I mean, it gives you so much confidence, and mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, you familiarize yourself. I drove in, you know, driving four or five different cars. Mm -hmm. You know, it tells you, you know, pretty much how every car feels. Mm -hmm. and that's good. Mm -hmm. That's oh, good. Yeah. So you know, you get you get a feel yeah. for what you have to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, I can tell you, you know, by, by driving outside of your normal what like what you experienced today whether you was on the wet skid pad which i know you drive in the snow a lot but uh maybe the slalom or even this it makes you a better driver yes, using absolutely. your eyes and your hands absolutely. and seat position confidence it, it builds confidence on you you know you, 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 it's, it, especially mm -hmm. if you are involved in a situation where you need to use your skills oh i mean in today's you'll know world, what to do today's world distracted driving is so over the top challenging yes, you yes, have to yes, yes. you have to drive so defensively so wow. but anyway well, well, that's, that's how we do it this is a great movie yeah <laughs>